teacher is very important because they are the role model for the children. Whatever they want the children to be, they have to be the example. So this is very important. Mokytis yra pavyzdys mokiniams ir kokie mokiniai nori būti, tuo tam pažiūrėdami į mokytį. If you want to teach the children to be a good person, the teacher has to be good as well. Jeigu norite gerus gerai žmonėmis, kad užauktų vaikai, reikia, kad ir mokytis būtų gerai. And the teacher has to, to know and understand that he has to speak from the heart. Then he will touch the heart of the children. And to speak from the heart, you have to really practice what you are going to teach. For example, if the teacher is going to teach the children not to smoke, then the teacher cannot smoke, not even behind the backs of the children. They cannot smoke, they have to practice what they teach. Jis taip pat turi nerūkyti, net kai pasislėpęs negali rūkyti, nes jis apreikia būti ir gyventi to, ką moka. And the teacher is not just teaching and teaching and teaching, no. He has to try to bring out from the children whatever he wants to teach, try to bring it out from the child himself. Taigi, tai, ką mokytės nori išmokyti mokinių, būtent to gerų savybių charakterį, jis turi mokyti, tai tiesiog sukelti, kvėpti mokiniuose, kad tos savybės kintų mokiniams iš jų vidaus, taip sakant, iššauti, sukelti, kvėpti tas savybės. Because children is not a machine, like a robot, where you can just put a lot of information into the robot or the machine. Children are human beings where they have to develop from within the, the child. You can, get, you can get a computer to work very well by putting in a lot of information. But a child is not like a computer. He has to be able to think for himself. He has to be able to find the answer for himself, not putting in all the answers. Mokinys vaikas nėra kompiuteris, jis kuris sukiu šie visus teisingus atsakymus, jis ažinės ir paspaudė virtuvę ir mokslėt jis viską pasakė. Aš tavau, mokinys yra žmogus, o to jis yra mastantį, kurį vinga būtybė ir jis turi pats mokėti, išmastyti tos atsakymus. So that is why teachers are so important. They are not going to just teach and teach and teach, but they are going to help the children to think and bring out all the information as much as possible from within the child himself. And the teacher has to also help the parents to also to teach the children. The teacher is helping the children in the school, but the parents have to be the teacher at home. 
mokyti tai moka vaikus mokykloje, o namuose mokytojai tam pati vaikus. So the teacher has to give advice to the parents as well to become a good teacher at home. Taigi mokytojas taip pat turi patarti ir tėvam, kaip būti gerom mokytoju namuose. So that's the work of, of the teacher in a good school. Taigi čia yra geros mokyklos mokytojo modinis. You know, information can be obtained very easily nowadays. There's no need for a teacher to give a lot of information. The teacher guides the child on how to obtain information. And the child will become very clever if he can get his own information. He can learn from all types of media, all types of uh, things that will give them information. In fact, in my school, for example, we tell the children that they cannot ask the teacher for everything. They have to go and find out for themselves. We tell our children, go and interview these people who are very knowledgeable. They can go and ask and they will learn to communicate. They will learn how to get information from others. Tam tikrai atsitės sakom, reikėt pas tuos protingus žmonės, pas tuos specialistus ir jų pačių klausimų. Ir mes susirengiam tuos susitikimus, kad jie išmoktų ir paklausti ir gauti atsakymus, ne tik išmoktų, bet ir iš specialistų. And nowadays you have all types of uh, information available through various media, through uh, computers, through the internet uh, and, and so on. So, we just help the children to learn how to do that. So it's not necessary for the teacher to teach and teach and teach and teach. And what's about skills? Skills also are very specific in our days. Teachers also teach some skills. Yes, um, you have to have laboratories for the children to learn the skills. So they have to do a lot of experiments. They have to try this, try that, but the teacher should not tell them exactly what to do, otherwise they will not think for themselves. So this is also very important. We do not tell them everything. Get them to experiment, try it out, then they will learn by themselves. 
Donc, de me débrouiller, mais il n'y a pas de papa, c'est pas de scot. Et je suis un peu plus léger, mais c'est expérimenté. Et il risque de pas être patient, c'est pas dit que tu as un bébé. O, jei vi kalbėtą, kad aš šitus permainų laikus, kai keičiasi tos reikalavimai ir mokytojams, ir reikalavimai mokslo, va, tom žinioms, kaip išsilaikyti, va, tą nuo širdumą, va, tą, ką jau, ką mokytojai širdus sakė, kad tą išsilgės mokymą, kai tiek daug iš išorės yra spaudimo tiem tokiem programom visokiem. In our days, there is so much bureaucracy in teaching. Even teaching at school is compared to, to some business or to some uh, pro products. So production is so how to resist for teaching against all this bureaucracy of modern world. Can you advise something? You see, the teacher has to realize that he is the facilitator for the learning process. He simply facilitates how to learn, but not to teach and teach. Teacher is no longer a teacher in this day and age, but he simply facilitates the children to find out as much as possible for himself, then the child will be very clever. He can find out things for himself and he will learn a lot faster than the teacher just teaching and teaching. I give you an example in my school, okay? Uh, when we teach the kindergarten children, we ask them, what do you want to know? The children, they will talk to each other, then they came up with uh, the answer, they said they want to know about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Uh, you know, the ancient animals, the big, big animals. So, when the children said they want to know about the dinosaurs, we don't tell them anything. We tell them, let's go and search for dinosaurs. So, we get the children to climb up on the mountain and look around everywhere for dinosaurs. <laughs> but the children cannot find any dinosaurs. So they start to discuss among themselves. Maybe they don't exist. So we go to the library and they you know, kindergarten, they cannot yet read a book, but they can look at the pictures, so they look at pictures of dinosaurs. But they cannot find dinosaurs anywhere. We, we take them to a zoo to try to see animals there, they cannot find any dinosaurs. So after a while, they discuss among themselves, maybe they don't exist anymore. And the teacher will say, okay, very good conclusion. <laughs> so that's how they learn. We get them to try to find out the answer for themselves. And they become very clever because they will try to find out 
answers for themselves all the time. Our children, they, when they grow up using this type of learning process, when they have the national examination, we are top in the school district. So this is the way we should teach. Don't tell them anything, get them to find out for themselves as much as possible. Галдар, когда нам придут, ты тут рука, пока не поклался, папа играет. So for the end, maybe you uh, want to say something additionally to the very end of our discussion. The teacher in the school has to be the example for the children. The parents at home are the teachers at home. We have to train the teachers, uh, the, we, we have to train the parents at home, and then parents and teachers have to work together. Then in this way, children will really progress very fast in their learning process. So it's very important that parents understand the method that we use, and therefore we will work together Mums labai svarbu, kad tėvai suprastų mūsų mokymo metodai, mes dėl to bendradavėm su tėvais ir bendrai rūpendėmės moksliai ir augimų ir švietimų. Mes mokom mokyklui ir aiškinam, kaip turėtų padėti toliau mūrėtis vaikams tėvai namuose ir kaip mums padėti, kaip mūsų dėmėti, kad namuose toliau būtų tas pas mokymo procesas. So in summary, we want children to be able to think for themselves as much as possible, to learn by themselves as much as possible, not just to me memorize everything that the te teacher teaches, because that is the worst type of education, where the teacher just teach and teach and teach, children listen, and they memorize everything that is not good for the learning process. Mūsų manimo pats blogiausias pedagogikos būdas – moktais moko ir kiša, kiša, kiša tą informaciją, mokinės tik suveria. Tas labai svarbu ir išmokyti savarankiškai maistyti, kūrybiškai maistyti, atrasti, aiškintis mokinių ir tokių gaukti savarankiškai. Ok? Ok. 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 Ok.